and take it from here. So I'll step aside. Hello, some of you know me already, but for those who don't, my name is Jerry Dow. I'm Deputy Lieutenant Governor for uh, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder, Jeff City. Um, I'm here in support of my friend Ryan Ashworth because we've been friends for I don't know how long. Eight, at, least, at least ten years. Eight, ten years now. And uh, he's, he's, a, he's a person that I know is very dedicated to the community. He's someone that I know is going to work very hard for everything that we believe in in Jeff City. He's, I, I believe, I think mean, some of you guys know, probably the most educated person in this race. Been to school for a long time. And something that I'm very proud of is, is uh, he's a naval intelligence officer. So, without further ado, Ryan Ashford. Well, th thank you so much, Jerry. You know, I've been so truly blessed in my life. I mean, truly blessed. You know, I've, I've been blessed to have been born here in Columbia, Missouri, and to be able to grow up here. I've been blessed to be able to make a difference in the lives of the children of this community as an educator for 11 years and a coach. And I, and I consider myself blessed to be able to serve my country in the United States Navy. And yeah. Perhaps because I've been so blessed in my life, I've, I've come to believe certain things. First and foremost, I believe that the primary duty of the state of Missouri is to support public education and the teachers that make it possible. We have to realize that education is the currency of opportunity in America, and we have to support that. Now, secondly, I believe that the state must support the University of Missouri and the academic freedom of the professors and staff employed there. MU is the economic and intellectual engine that is going to drive this state into the future, and we have to get behind that. Absolutely. Now, I also believe that an important role in state government is to work with business to try to provide the high quality, high paying jobs that we need in this state and particularly in the 25th district. And I'm gonna make a pledge to you right now that I will work to make Missouri nationally renowned as the small business capital of America. Now, I also believe that a primary responsibility of any government is to provide for the public safety of its citizens. Violent crime is up over 40% in the city of Columbia in the last year. Now there are those who believe that this is just a natural consequence of our growing population and our development. My friends, I utterly reject that notion. The state of Missouri must provide block grants to local law enforcement so we can put more cops on the street and more criminals behind bars where they belong. Now I also have come to believe that it is the responsibility of each and every citizen of this society to be faithful stewards of our environment and to protect our natural resources for future generations to enjoy. And lastly, well, this being April 15th, I'd be remiss if I, if I didn't say <laughs> that I believe we can do all of this without raising your taxes. for this last one, but so be it. I believe, firmly believe, that each of us, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, that we all share the same fundamental goals that was so eloquently stated by President John F. Kennedy. 
when he said that our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air, and we all cherish our children's futures. My friends, the people of this nation and of the 25th district are desperate for a change in the political climate, and that's why I'm going to win in November. However, all three of my opponents on the Democratic side have already taken positions that will not allow them to be able to work with the Republican majority in the House of Representatives. Now, I believe that when presented with the choice, the people of the 25th District will vote for the candidate dedicated to bringing people together rather than those who seek to tear us apart. And furthermore, and lastly, I understand the difficulty of this race. I know the challenges that face this campaign. But I also believe in the immortal words of, Th of Thomas Paine when he said during the dark days of the American Revolution that the greater the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. about our ultimate triumph in November, I can promise you this, that with the support of friends like you, the road will be glorious indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out here tonight, and let's come together and let's win this race in November.